Oh, hey guys, today we're going to do a quick uh, step and show you guys actually how to install uh, a Windows 10 or 11 from uh, a Dell G515 model. So the exact model for this one here, that's like the, uh, the main model that you see in the sticker, but the actual model for this one here is also labeled as the, the P89F, as in Frank, as you see there. Um, so this is a pretty simple, uh, you know, and straightforward install. So um, just, just what you have to do is just, just remember this before you power on your system. Um, the only thing that you have to do is, uh, the main function key that you actually have to, to press down to get your boot option menu is, uh, the F12 keys, because with this model here, you don't have to go into the bias at all to enable your F12 or anything like that. So, um, at least with this model here, it's a good thing because a lot of other models in the bias, sometimes the, the F12 function key or other function keys that allow you to, to see you know your your bootable usb devices or other bootable devices uh, they're usually disabled sometimes so you have to go into the bias and enable it first so with this one here you don't have to go into the bias at all so just remember when you power it on press and hold or hold down the f12 button right at the beginning and um and make sure that your 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 windows 10 or windows 11 usb flash drive is plugged into one of the usb ports before you do this so once you do do that and press on the f12 button what you should be seeing is this um, this is the first screen that shows up in your menu. So you, you see that by default, it goes to the selection of the Windows Boot Manager. So since I'm using a Kingston Data Travel here that has my Windows 10 installed, which I'm doing for my client here, what you would do is you would use your up and down arrow key to navigate yourself to go downwards and make sure that the, the uh, UEFI Kingston Data Traveler 3.0 is actually highlighted like you would see here. So once you've done that, all you have to do is just press the Enter key. Oh, excuse me guys press the enter key and the first screen that you're gonna see is this you know all you have to do is just click on the next button so if there's nothing to read about this click on the next button and then the next window will show up here is this window here and it would be the end and then all you have to do is click on the install now so once it takes a couple seconds to do that this will be the next menu uh, the next uh, screen that you will see so make sure that you just use my cursor, follow that as a guide to what I'm trying to point out if certain things you need to look at or follow. So just put a check mark in this box here, as you can see, and then click on the next button. So once you've done that, it will bring you to this following window. So in this window here, but as you can see, it defaults to the upgrade, install windows and keep file settings and applications, blah, blah, blah. So what you want to do is use your up, use your mouse or your down arrow key to choose custom install windows only advanced. So once you choose that, you'll be brought to this menu here because since my client, uh, I'm not doing an SSD upgrade for this client here. I'm just reinstalling windows because their windows was severely infected and corrupted. So even their image was completely messed up. So this is the only other way to do a new windows install. If your image that was built into your hard drive is corrupted by viruses or whatever stuff. Um, so make sure that you can actually just go to the, uh, the Google and just type in uh, windows 10 or 11, you know, uh, download ISO download or whatever. It should be the first result you normally get is the, the Microsoft link that will lead you to into uh, to, to, so that you can create and download the file and create it through a USB flash drive through their link. Um, so in this going back to this here. So in his situation, he had a corrupted Windows and it wouldn't boot. It just kept, you know, uh, booting into Windows and just restarting. And so the next thing you want to do is, as you can see here, there's a multiple partitions. And if you see the, uh, the taskbar here, there's a few more that's kind of hidden, but your main goal or purpose to do here, as long as you've backed up all of your stuff, um, if you don't have any files that need backing up, then this is where you should be, you know, what you should be doing next. Because if you have files that need to be backed up, I would suggest removing the bottom end of your laptop. You know, but the whole thing is if your image wasn't working like this client here, none of the features work because he tried backing up his data and then it would just get corrupted. So the only other way to back up the data properly is to actually open up the bottom end of your laptop, take out the hard drive, put it into an enclosure and then plug it into another system that has windows into it. Then that will show up as another uh, secondary partition. Then you can back up your files from there. So going back to this here, let's say that you don't care or don't need the information that's in this hard drive. You've already backed up all your stuff or you do frequent backups every month or every couple of weeks, then you can go ahead and choose every one of these partitions here. So when you select the first one here, just go down to the delete option here, which is at the bottom middle almost, and just delete every single one of these until you bring yourself once you've deleted the eight to ten whatever you see here once you delete all of these here you will actually eventually come up to one physical you know hard drives you know capacity which is this 
So once you've done that, all you need to click on is just click on the, the new. And then this will be, and then once you click on new, as you can see here, you'll see that you have about 244,198, you know, uh, you know, megs, you know, that, 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 that that's for your 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 hard drive capacity that, that the you know, the Windows gives you. So you know, depending if you have a 500 gig or a one terabyte, you know, it will show whatever size you you know that, that you have there. And then all you have to do is click on the apply button. So once you click on the apply button, Windows will create a few other partitions also. Um, and this will be the the prompt that you would be asked to do. Just click on OK. And then once you do that, you will actually see three partitions that Windows has created. So and then it will also highlight a default to the largest one, which will be where the new windows are going to be installed. So once you choose that, you know, you just basically you click on the next button. And once you click on the next button, you will see this very simple. Um, it'll start windows will, you know, will start copying files from the flash drive that you're running windows, the installation from. And once you get down to the finishing up, as you will see, once it starts moving down from top to bottom, each one of these areas that has completed up to 100%, you will see green check marks beside each one of them. And once you get to the, the, the finishing up portion of it, you will start to see this. And it will actually, pro it, oh, sorry, my, my mistake here. It will prompt you to restart the system. And this is one of the most important steps so that when you click on the restart now, make sure that you remove the your USB flash drive that has the Windows 10 into it. Because if you don't, after the restart, it will actually reattempt a, a new installation on windows again so it's really crucial and important that you do unplug your your windows 10 flash drive right after you click on the restart now button here so once you've done that you know um it will probably depending on fast your system is on an average it takes about probably three to five minutes at the most to get yourself to this new screen here so once you get to this screen the rest is pretty simple because the awesome thing with this specific model here Windows 10 and 11, you don't actually have to install the drivers for your motherboard because Windows 10 and 11 actually has installed all of the drivers for your video card, your USB 3.0, 2.0 ports, all of your external ports completely. So, um, you know, if you want to double check, you can easily just go to the, uh, you know, the Windows, you know, the Windows key here or click on the search here and just type in device manager. If you type in device manager, you will see that all of your drivers have been installed because there's no exclamation marks or question marks that's highlighting in that menu it's everything is installed so i've double checked this for you guys so if you actually have this exact same model you know uh, you will not need to install drivers or anything <coughs> excuse me guys again so just follow the uh, the prompts carefully because anyone can do this so you know if you're in canada or the u.s you choose whatever region you're in and then just follow through the next about i think four to five other windows that that will actually pop up in front of you which will prompt you for a keyboard layout i kind of just skip that or just click next you know and, and it's uh it'll prompt you to get connected to the internet um type in your username you know your region settings and all the other stuff so very very straightforward and very basic so just remember said again you guys don't have to install the drivers for this specific model here so the model here on the tag of the top uh, at the, the bottom left of the, your trackpad it's it's stated as a dell g515 but if you look at the bottom sticker on this specific Dell, as you can see here, the actual model of this is a P89F series. You know, so uh, it's a gaming laptop. So, I mean, like I said, it was a pretty straightforward install. And I hope this video helps you guys out. And if you like it, just click on the like button. Or if you have any questions, just type it in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.